Welcome to the task, Enable Survey Branching. For the purposes of this task, we're going to create a brand new survey in SharePoint and enable survey branching for that particular survey. When we get to the portion of the task where we're actually enabling the branching, I'll make it a point to mention that since that is the place where you would actually start this task if you merely wanted to enable survey branching for an existing survey. So let's go ahead and get started. In order to accomplish this task, I will start Internet Explorer and navigate to the SharePoint site where I'd like to create a survey. On the SharePoint site homepage, I'll open the Site Actions menu and select the Create option. On the Create page in the Tracking column, I'll select the Survey link to create a new survey. Now I'll type in a name for the survey and a description. I'll leave the default selected since I do want to display a link to the survey on the quick launch bar of all the pages on this particular SharePoint site. I do want to show usernames in the survey results and I only want to allow users to respond one time. So I'll click the next button now to have SharePoint create the survey for me, which SharePoint is done and it's taken me to the new question page. So let's first ask the user what operating system they are using. We'll leave the choice question type and we'll require a response and now we'll type in the operating systems that our company supports. We'll go ahead and leave the default selected. We'll use radio buttons instead of a drop down menu. We won't allow fill in choices since those are, are only for supported operating systems and we will not select a default value. Since we know we're going to create additional questions, we'll click the next question button now. And now let's type in a question that could be a follow on question if they answered one of the Windows based operating systems for the first question. Once again we'll leave the choice answer type. We won't require a response since this will be only one of the branches of our survey but we will put in the choices for our Windows word processors that we support. Once again we'll leave the default selected toward the bottom of the page and select the next question option. So we've taken care of the Windows answer to the first question. Now let's tackle Mac OS X. And once again, we'll duplicate what we did for the Windows branch. Type, put in some choices here for our supported Mac OS X word processing programs. Leave the default selected for the rest of the page. Select the next question option. So we've taken care of Windows and Mac. Now let's go for Linux. and type in our supported Linux word processors. Once again we'll leave the defaults and since we know this is our last question we'll go ahead and click the finish button to finish creating the questions for our survey. Now that our survey is created we want to enable branching logic. 
this is the portion of the task where you would pick up and begin if you merely wanted to enable branching logic for an existing survey on your site. In order to enable branching logic, we'll click on the question that we want to start the branching. In this case, what operating system are you using? So on the edit question page for this particular question, if we scroll all the way to the bottom, we see our branching logic area. So for the two Windows operating systems, we will ask the follow-on question that is specific to our Windows supported word processors. Likewise, for Mac OS X and Ubuntu Linux. And now we're ready to click the OK button and finish creating the branching logic to go along with our survey. This concludes the task Enable Survey Branching.